I have called the National Guard. I have called uh, 911. I have called uh, everybody. They just keep telling me I'm on a list. I don't want to be on no list. I don't care about nothing else. This man is not about to die over here on 111. Y'all need to get this man some help. The woman you see there is Shakira Autry, a Buffalo resident who is now being hailed as a hero. She is a hero. She is. Autry was at home with her boyfriend on Christmas Eve as a deadly winter storm was battering western New York when she heard a cry for help. It was 64-year-old Joe White, who goes by Joey and is developmentally disabled and lives in a group home. He found himself caught in the storm outside of Autry's home after his sister believes he tried to walk home from work in blizzard-like conditions. When Autry found him, Joey was in pain, understandably scared, and showing signs of frostbite. She brought him inside, cut off his clothes off of him, and began drying him with a hairdryer to try to warm him up. Luckily, he remembered his sister's phone number, so she was able to call her. But after her 911 calls went unheeded because of the difficulties with the storm, she knew that he needed serious medical attention, and she started recording. When my boyfriend found him, he had a bag. He had this top's bag, this bag, on in on his hands. It were frozen to his hands. Okay, I cut it off. After I cut it off, when I when I cut it off, his hands, I turned around and I had to blow dry the ice off of him. After that, neighbors came over to help plow the snow. They wrapped Joey in a blanket. Autry rode with him to the hospital. Thank y'all so much. I'm so happy y'all responded so fast. I'm right here. You okay? I love you too, sweetie. You okay? No, nothing's gonna happen. Just breathe. Breathe. Joey remains in ICU this morning. He has fourth degree frostbite. His sister, who is grateful for Autry's help, says Yvonne White is going to join us now alongside Shakira Autry. We are so glad both of you are here this morning. And Shakira, I just want to start with you because you are a hero for saving him. And I just want you to recount what it was like to find him and bring someone that is a stranger to you into your home as the storm was underway. It was very, it was very devastating, very devastating, it was heartbreaking to even see someone so helpless and he just needed some help. And you made him pancakes, right? It tells us what it was like. <laughs> Yes, he actually woke me up on Christmas morning. I told him the day before Christmas, I said, hey, Joe, it looks like if you're going to wake up with me on Christmas, he said, he said to me, okay, are you, can I get a uh, Bruce Lee shirt? And I said, yep, we can. So <laughs> Christmas morning happened and I heard, hey, hey, I'm like, yeah. He's like, you're going to make me pancakes? I'm like, yeah, I'll make you pancakes. <laughs> the ultimate caregiver. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us, Yvonne, how your brother's doing? How's Joey doing? Um, I spoke to the hospital probably about 35 minutes ago. At this point, he's sleeping. Um, so obviously, I didn't want to wake him up. We'll call him in a little bit. Um, but he's still the same. They're still watching him, um, fourth degree burns. Yeah. His voice, I spoke to him yesterday, is very weak. He sounds very sad. But... Um, Guess what he wanted to do, my dear, FaceTime. So so I told him when I go there, I'll check his phone because I just got my new phone a little while ago, and we'll see if we can hook that up so he can talk to everybody and see everybody. He's sad, and he's scared. Are you, Aww. are you, I know we hate to hear that, but I mean, he's been through so much, and luckily Shakira was there <laughs> to help him. But Yvonne, are you scared about what oh. would have happened to your brother had someone like Shakira not been there to help? <clears throat> Petrified. I mean, honestly, honestly, I'm sure he would have perished. Um, I, like I told Joey, we gained a family. I'm, I'm looking yes. at my sister. I'm looking at Trent, who's my brother. And now I'm thrilled because I have three nephews. And that's, <laughs> that's how I feel because this woman, just, just what she did uh, above and beyond for a stranger. What she did is just heartwarming, and it makes me cry. I mean, both of us were crying for two days. We, yes, we were. I think we, we in the media, and just a lot of people talk about how divided this country is, and it is. Mm -hmm. But let's not forget yes. folks like you and Shakira, what you did. I don't. I think we all would want to say I would do the same. I don't know. I don't know if I would. Right. And you just, where did that come mm -hmm. from in you? 
paying it forward, how I was raised, my family, you know, always taught me, you know, to have compassion. And that's what I did. It was, you know, I just had to jump in, just had to jump in and do what I can do. And I tried to, as long as, you know, to help can come to me, me and, um, me and his sister just, you know, we bonded over the time throughout the, the course of the time of being with me. I made sure to make her at ease, to make him feel comfortable. I sent her multiple pictures. We called, we FaceTime. When the very first time we FaceTime, he did not understand. What is he said? Hey, wh what is that? What are you doing? <laughs> and I'm like, it's FaceTime. He was so surprised. He he didn't, he couldn't understand it. And Throughout the time, my family, my little cousins, my children, because everybody was stranded. We all FaceTimed them. And I let them know, I say, here, you know, I would say, hey guys, here's Joey. And he would, he would smirk and he would smile. And everybody would say, hi, Joey. We just immediately brought him in like family. I would do it a hundred more times, no matter what the situation was. I'm glad I was able to have power. I'm glad I had food. I'm glad I had heat. I'm just so thankful that I was able to give back and actually pay it forward you know to 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 him to his family to show other people you know we we have to work together regardless of the skin color that we are regardless of the mm -hmm. age just jump in and just just do it just do it and i'm just so glad that joey at least know his sister's phone number because when he started saying phone numbers I, I didn't really know if it was real but i called it and when i called it she the first time she didn't answer but when she answered the second time it was like weight lifted off of our shoulders immediately and we began to start working together because outside of that it was just me and my family working together so i i would mm -hmm. do it again and i'm just so grateful I was able to save his life. I'm grateful that Trent was able to pick him up and bring him in here. My father, you know, encouraging us, just like I said, we were gonna, at first we was like, well, maybe we can put him in a vehicle, but he just needed more. He needed more than that. We, we had to help him. And I'm so grateful that we did. And I just hope other people in other areas that they have a, a, a devastating storm or anything. If you see something, help somebody. You know, it wasn't even about my life. It was truly about him. I just, mm -hmm. I just wanted to do the right. Shakar, do you feel like you've gained another family member in all of this? Oh, oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. That's Uncle Joey. <laughs> Uncle Joey, when and I, Joe, Joe is gonna, Joey's gonna hold you to that, my dear. He's gonna hold I, you. I, to I know. That. He's gonna sit there and say, I, I know, you know he these is. are my best friends, Yvonne. You got, first of all, I just got a text from a friend who's crying. So there's that. You're bringing people to tears. And second of all, you know there's got to be a reunion of all of you. And oh, I, we want to sure. be there. I, CNN wants to be there, yes. okay? Yes, we I, definitely I believe gonna something is in the works. What did you say, Yvonne? Yvonne? Yeah. I, I believe something is in the works. We're, we're trying to work it out because I tell you, the first thing I'm going to do is give my sister a hug. And I know, yes. I know it's going to be heartfelt. We're very similar. We're very similar. And, and yes. that's the sweetest part. Like our favorite movie is Pay It Forward and we love the Disney Channel. Oh, <laughs> you know? yep, so, do. you know, you can't, you don't find people like that that often. You don't, you don't find <laughs> no. people like either of you. And, and we are, I, we just, we loved this story. And the minute we saw it, we were so grateful to the local Buffalo outlet that picked it up first. And we are just, we're so grateful that you guys came on to share it. And Shakira, we're so grateful for you, for your, what you did. I mean, it's just, it's an amazing show of what people can be like when they're the, their best selves. And so thank you both for being here. We're rooting for, rooting for Joey. We hope that he, he recovers and yes. that he's, he's back soon and you guys can all be And together. we'll see you at the reunion. And if okay. Disney's listening, you, I think y'all deserve a trip to, you know, Disney World <laughs> on them. Thank you. Well, I mean, we thank you. There is, a, we are taking cards for Joey at ECMC. Okay, okay. Keep us posted, Yvonne, on how he's doing, okay? Okay, hon, thanks. Okay. Bye. Thank you both for being with us.